This is the Marvel Legends Giant Man from the Captain America Civil War build a figure wave. For accurate height of this figure, it stands around the 10 inches mark. So for size comparison, I brought in my custom 1 is to 6 scale figure. So 10 inch figure versus a 12 inch or 1 is to 6 scale figure. As an Avengers action figure display team member, Giant Man is not drowned out or overwhelmed by the other characters. He surely does stand out. So before we discuss articulation points on this action figure, let us first do a quick 360 of the figure so we could take a look at all of its details. So for upsized figures like this, you would really notice the really small details that has been put into it. So the areas which are textured, you could point out and you could feel. And those areas that are smooth, you could really also point out and feel. And at the same time, just in case you have a little bit of paint wear, it's just easy to um, apply or retouch the areas that has scuff marks on it. Plus, it really does not take so much an effort unlike your standard 6 inch figure wherein sometimes you really have to take care of the brush strokes that you do to the areas that you want to paint but with regards to upsized figures like this even the sizes of pens that you could possibly use is just okay because it's 10 inches you have a lot of repair space that you could um, work on too okay so we're ready to discuss articulation points on this action figure so let's start with the head the head is on a ball and a hinge so the hinge is going to be located on the neck area so moving towards the body we have a abdominal cut for forward bends but with regards to backward bends this figure does not have that function it's just going to be forward bends we have a cut on the thigh uh, on the waistline of the figure for rotation of the waistline and moving towards the arms so because we don't have any form of impediment for the arms moving the arms 360 degrees is possible moving on a t-pose is also possible we have a cut on the biceps for rotation of the biceps we have two points of articulation for the elbow and they are Pinned. We also have rotation for the hands and a hinge for the hands. Moving towards the leg area, um, forward motion and sideward motion of the entire leg is possible. Um, we have a cut on the thigh for rotation of the thigh. Two points of articulation for the knee. And we have a rocker and a hinge for the foot but we don't have any cut on the shin for rotation of the shin so that is the entire articulation points for this 10 inch figure so actually there are two variations of this 10 inch giant man action figure so it's going to be this action figure which is part of the of a build a figure wave and you also have a separate purchase action figure which already comes in built and packaged already uh, ready for um, play and display and like this version wherein you have to accumulate all of the uh, team member waves to make this giant man figure so whichever figure that you could see in the secondary market um, as long as the condition is good we don't have any degradation or the on the mold or a lot of um, playware so just like this I was really lucky that um, when I secured this in the secondary market the figure is in good condition so this ends my simple review of this giant man slash ant man action figure in anticipation for the new Marvel movie that is coming out starring this guy so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and see you on the next action figure review